Hey, good morning. It's Catherine Oster again. And if you were just with me, I was uh, doing coffee chat on my phone. I also run clearing loops on my phone at nighttime while I sleep. And sometimes I forget they're playing because they have them on really low volume. But when I'm doing a Facebook Live and I have my clearing loop going, people can hear that. And so I had to stop and turn it off. It was really interesting. Good morning, Lori. <laughs> Happy to have you back again. Um... Okay, so I'm just gonna start all over from the start. Hey mom, um, I'm Catherine Oster. If you have never seen me before, <laughs> that's better, you can hear it so much clearer. <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, totally better. Thank you guys for letting me know. Thanks, Loretta. Okay, I'm a certified facilitator with Access Consciousness and Access is this really amazing set of tools that you can use to change or create anything in your life. Now, I was also telling everybody that I um, own and operate a grain farm with my husband and my brother-in-law and his wife. And we farm about 4,000 acres and it is harvest time. And that's why I'm coming to you at a weird time, not normally Wednesday at one, because I wasn't sure exactly where I would be on Wednesday at one and if I would have a service. But here I am, I'm so excited you guys are here. Thank you so much for joining me. So I have a question actually that was sent in this week, which was really cool, from a gal who took a class with me. And she asked me to speak to, like what, what, what I know about new moon energy, working with other energies in the universe, and setting your targets with the new moon. Now, I've never really followed that at all, ever. In fact, I actually had to Google like if that was a thing because I didn't know that that was a thing. <laughs> so what my sense is, what I have experienced and what I know is that everything in the universe desires to contribute to you and what you are asking for, if you are willing to ask for it. Now, in terms of setting targets, um, writing them down on a piece of paper definitely creates something. It's like more of a commitment or um, it gives you more clarity. It has more of a creation force behind it than just thinking about it in your head. Um, now, the time of the month that you do it, I mean definitely maybe there's something to that. I googled it and it does say like new moon energy is for creating new targets and resetting your life kind of. Whereas the full moon is more for releasing. Um, and so cool. Now I've never followed that when I've made targets. Um, but there is a time for things to show up. And so one of the questions, now I'm just going to go a different direction here for a second. We are aware, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know you've heard me say that, hey Bonnie, um, we are all very aware. We are aware of other things and other people around us at the time. We are also aware of the future. Um, so when you are, when there's ideas popping for you, one of the questions you should ask is now the time, yes or no? Is now the time for this idea? Is now the time for me to set targets? Is now the time? And allow yourself to have a yes or no answer based on your light and heavy, what you're aware of. Because one thing I've, I've experienced is we are aware of the future. Now, um, especially in terms of creating things. So for example, hey, Sherry Lynn. For example, um, I was gonna do, I wanted to do this class, like I think I called it Equine Essentials. This is like years ago, maybe like 2014 when I very first started playing with the tools of access. And it was this whole horse learning handbook. And I was gonna like offer it to, kids who have never worked with horses before and we were going to go through like everything about them from 
safely being around them, to halting them, to leading them, to yada, yada, yada. And, um, and I started talking about it and telling people about it. And I had one, one girl choose it with me, which was really fun, but there wasn't a lot. And I went to the judgment of myself. Like I must be wrong. Nobody is interested in what I'm doing. Um, I was really frustrated. I felt like I wasted a whole bunch of time. And then I had a session with another certified facilitator. I was not a certified facilitator back then. And they just asked me like, truth, Catherine, is now the time for that? And it was so clear to me that it was a no, like is not, it was not the time. And they were like, well, are you, were you aware of something that was asking to be created in the future? And I was like, yes. And there was so much lightness. So rather than judging myself because this thing didn't work, it's like, is now the time? Another really clear example of that was, so any, okay. Since I've learned about that, I use that question a lot and it keeps me on track and focusing my energy on what's actually required. Because the last year, now I've been hosting Anna Yelenius from Sweden. Um, I hosted her for a Conscious Horse Conscious Rider class back in 2017, I think was the first one. Hey, Rhonda. And... Um, Hosted her back in 2017. And then we wanted to do a class again in 2018. It didn't go. We did a class in 2019 last summer, which was 2019. Amazing. And then we're like, yes, we're doing it again for 2020. And um, which just happened. And I remember thinking like October, November, December of 2019, I need to sit down and create this landing page. I need to get this class out there so people can register. I need to do this. Blah, 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 blah. And I never, in quotation marks, got around to making time to do that. And it's January, and I'm like, January 2020, I'm like, shit, I need to get this class up so people can see it. Still didn't get around to it, because that's the interesting thing is, I almost can't even force myself to do something that's not really required right now. Like, I'll think about it at times that I can't do it. and um. And then COVID hit and the class thing at all. And so that is kind of what following the energy created for me is had I sat down and created the landing page, it essentially would have been a waste of time because the class wasn't going to be happening. And so is now the time to actually do that? It wasn't for that. Um, it was time to, for me to do other things. I created many other things in that time, but not that. So that's just a bit of information for you. Um, in terms of the moon, I'm just like, yeah, there's probably times where the moon, I mean, the moon definitely has an energetic effect on everything. And yeah, try it. And then try it at another time and see what happens. And ask the question, is now the time to targets? and everything around you desires to contribute to you. So that actually leads to the second part of her question. I just need to grab a drink real quick. You should check out my cup. Relax. We're all crazy. It's not a competition. <laughs> so calm down. So the second part of her question is, was Catherine, can you ask, can you talk about the wording when you want to make a demand of the universe? So that's something that we talk about in Access and the Foundation class is making a demand to change things in your life. But you actually make the demand of yourself and you request of the universe to support you in that. So for example, there was a time I made a demand to change money in my world because I, my financial reality was lacking. I had a lot of lack of money in my world. Money was a struggle. I made it a really hard thing and I didn't ever want to have it. So I didn't have any ever. I had no money. I had negative money. Um, I took my first foundation class in 2014 and after that, I made a demand that I change it. And the demand that I made was to actually have a 10% account. So a 10% account is where you take 10% of 
of everything, all the money that comes into your life and you set it aside. Because often we're not comfortable having money. I mean, we're really, we can be really good at spending it and we can be decent at creating it, but we never allow ourselves to just have it. And that's what the 10% account creates for you. So when, when it was time for me to do that, I couldn't even afford to have a 10% account. Literally, I was in the negative every single month. I was in that cycle of being in my overdraft. And um, I made a demand of myself. Like I knew, I just knew that what I was choosing with money wasn't changing it. And there was this other thing, this 10% thing, and it seemed really impossible. But I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try it for a month. I'm gonna try it and see if it changes anything. And I demanded myself of myself, no matter what, I will have money and I will have this 10% account. And I did not even start putting 10% away. I started putting maybe 5% away. I started just taking a little bit of the money that came in and setting it aside. No matter what, I'm doing this. This changes now. That is the energy of demand when you wanna change something in your life. Um, and then you request of the universe, universe, show me, show me what it's like to have money. Show me how money can show up in ways that I've never imagined possible. Um, and it's amazing what showed up for me. Like my whole financial reality changed. Like I don't, I, I know it didn't change. I know money started to change right away in the first month. Like it started to get a little bit easier. Um, but over the years, so that's been six years now, it has hugely changed for me. And I actually have more money now than I've ever had before. And having money, um, I want to say it forces you to choose. <laughs> um, you have way more choices available to choose. Because what I used to always say was, oh no, I can't afford that, so it's not even an option for me. Now, it's like I can afford it, and do I actually want to choose it? So it's getting clear about that. Or am I just choosing it to get rid of my money? Demanding of yourself, no matter what it takes, this changes now, and I am choosing something different. And it was hard and uncomfortable for me in the beginning to have that 10% account. And I didn't know, I mean, I was like, worst case scenario is if I can't buy groceries, I need to spend my 10% account, I will. But I'm just gonna try this and see if it works. And I didn't spend my 10% account. And it just continued to grow. And when you start to have the energy of money in your life, it starts to pull in more. Now what surprised me was the ways that universe has shown me what it's like to have money. And money has shown up in so many surprising ways. It's really magic, actually. So if you're willing to ask that question, universe, show me. Show me all the ways that money can show up for me. Show me what it's like to have money. And you're willing to notice those funny things that show up. So for example, even just the other day, so harvest time for me is like a slower, slower in quotation marks income time because I'm not doing any live classes. I'm not teaching any writing lessons. I don't schedule a lot of things unless I know that we're not gonna be combining. But during harvest, harvest comes first. So my income gets a little bit less, um, which is cool. So I've just started asking for different ways that money can show up for me during harvest time. And one of the ways showed up yesterday where a lady, I was actually just chatting with her on the phone and she asked me if she could buy one of my past classes that I had. Because with classes, I do audio recordings and video recordings if I can. And I send those to the participants so they always have that information. And she randomly asked me, Catherine, can I buy this class that you did a few months ago? And I was like, oh my God, I've never sold a class like that before. And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. I can totally send you the recordings. That would be amazing. So that is the way that the universe showed me that money can show up that I didn't consider before. 
So now the demand of yourself part, the demand of yourself part, it's like demanding to quit smoking cigarettes when you make the demand to have money. Um, it's uncomfortable and you have to stay present with the change you're asking for. So say, say you have a demand to change your body. Now, acknowledging that that doesn't just happen overnight and there are things that can start to change quicker than you think if you're willing to choose it. No matter what it takes, I'm having money. No matter what it takes, I'm changing this. This stops now. No matter what it takes, universe, show me. That is the energy of making a demand to change something for you. Um, now there's going to be a lot of times where you want to spend the money. There's going to be a lot of times where you want to smoke that cigarette again. There's going to be a lot of times through the transition period where you have to stay with that demand and you have to be strong in yourself and with yourself and keep choosing it. You have to keep choosing it. That's the other thing. Because if you stop choosing it, it doesn't happen anymore. So we definitely talk more about that in a foundation class, um, which is four days of talking about these tools and talking about things in your life that you would like to change and talking about all of that. Basically, the foundation class is changing the foundation of your life. And um, you can look for one anywhere where you're located uh, uh, on the access site, accessconsciousness.com. And I have a foundation class that I'm planning for the end of November in Lloydminster, if any of you are in the area. So that's what I got for you guys today. It is not dewy outside at all. So I need to go get ready because we're going to be leaving shortly to head to the field. Yes, Joy, you have to keep choosing. <laughs> it's funny because I used to think if I made one choice, I would never have to choose again. No, you have to keep choosing it. And I'm so grateful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Oh my God. And if you ever have any questions that you want me to talk about on Coffee Chat, let me know. Usually I send out an email letting everybody know when I'm actually doing it this week, if it's not going to be Wednesday at 1. And I ask you if you have any questions. You can reply to that email. And if you're not getting those emails and you want to be on my email list, let me know. I'll send you a link. You guys have a fantastic day too. Okay. Bye-bye for now.